The Arctic, warming much faster than the rest of the planet. That's thanks to the melting of ice on the sea. Ice reflects heat, so every bit that disappears allows the sun to heat the dark ocean beneath it. From 1979, NASA's satellites have tracked the shrinking of summer ice. It fluctuates from year to year, but the trend is clearly downwards, and this year's ice will be the smallest yet. For every year the ice grows during the winter and shrinks back in the summer. So that's a natural cycle that goes on all the time. It's just in these recent years we've seen that the, the, the shrinkage, the summer minimum as we say, is getting smaller um, and smaller. So what's caused the rapid warming of the Arctic? Well, a recent paper from Reading University suggests that 30% of it is due to the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation. That's a natural cycle repeating every 65 to 80 years. It's been in a warm phase since the 1970s. But the same paper calculates that human activity has caused 70% of the warming. Pollution from our cars, our homes and our factories. Some scientists now believe that an ice-free Arctic in summer is only a matter of time. I think the next two or three years we'll see a further collapse and we'll be then encountering an Arctic Ocean without any ice in it during the summer months. Some would benefit from a melting ocean, like shipping for instance. Oil and gas firms battling with environmentalists like Gazprom did with Greenpeace today hope to exploit the Arctic's mineral resources too. But warming would also bring trouble. Roads based on permanently frozen ground are crumbling as it thaws, as was shown on the BBC's World's Most Dangerous Roads. Much more important, the ocean currents we rely on could be disrupted, and methane, a greenhouse gas trapped in the permanently frozen ground, could be released, and that would overheat the world even more. It's all a big accidental experiment with the planet.